Hello, baby. <laughs> what a week it's been in the Big Brother house. Revelation after revelation. When's it all going to stop? Well, not any time soon, because Big Brother's about to reveal another secret to the housemates. A bowling alley. Tonight's theme is a rockin' 50s vibe. And I'll tell you one thing. It's going to get very, very slimy in there. I'm Mike Goldman, and this is Big Brother Friday Night Live. Whoa, it... <laughs> Yes, this is Big Brother Friday Night Live, the new weekly slimy part of the Big Brother family. I'm Mike Goldman, and with me is former housemate, the annoyingly tall Ryan Fitzy Fitzgerald, and the recently enhanced Brie Amar. Stop it, they're real. I meant your hair. <laughs> or yeah, a chin is, reduction, What maybe, is yeah. going on there? Mm. No, Come they're not. Hey. Oh. hey, guys, welcome along, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for having us, Mike. Favourite moment from last week's Friday Night Live? Well, it was a top week and it was good to see the little whippersnapper, Glenn Dogger, take it out. But uh, the big highlight for me was uh, young Christy mm. having a dead set crack. She went into the wall, but she got back on her chariot and she had a dead set crack. So well done, Christy, for me. That was my highlight. Bree, who are you loving in the house? At the moment, I'm definitely loving the Logan boys. Mm -hmm. Only because, well, not only, but because they're stirring up this um, psycho desperate spin amongst mm. the girls. Yeah, all right. Well, we've got Tim, Angela, Dean, and Geneva all nominated. Who do we not want to lose? Mm, I really don't want to lose Geneva just mm. because um, she's a bit saucy and toey, and I think. You know, love may bloom for her. Oh, I like Tim. Tim. Tim's starting to come out of yeah. his shell now, too. Yeah. He's a bit of a character. Keep Tim in, I reckon. Playing practical jokes and getting in yeah, trouble like Michelle hilarious. and all that kind of thing. OK, well, moving on. The idea of Big Brother Friday Night Live is to chuck a grenade into the house by pitching the housemates against each other in a series of games that produces one ultimate winner. And the same three incredible prizes every week. Last week's game certainly had an effect on the house. Glenn won and tell us the first part of his prize. Fitzy? Well, it was pretty funny. Glenn took Logan into the reward room and then really wished that he had it. <laughs> he wanted Michelle in there. Oh, oh, shit. Rose oh, I shouldn't have chosen you, mate. I'm Is not he... sleeping in here, mate. I'd be... be oh, no, no, I can't do it. Sleeping here? You should have figured a female. Oh. No, oh, it's nice in that there, is isn't great, it? Wasn't it? He should have taken a bird in there, that's for sure. <laughs> Not good for two blokes. You didn't, they didn't really get full use of the massage well, They oil, actually patched in the bath. We didn't see that. No, they <laughs> didn't. Nah, they didn't. Nah, they didn't. And, and Logan in the reward room was, of course, the subject of another conversation as well. Guess who's talking? Would you accept uh, the invitation when someone asked Logan you to go to the reward room? I would never say no to the reward room. You'd never say no to the reward room. I wouldn't say no to the reward room. But what happens in there is a different story. OK, and the second part of the prize, Bree? Of course it was the chores that were delegated this week. And um, Glenn managed to do the right thing and try and be very diplomatic and um, assign himself to be the farmhand, which is um, obviously trying to score some brownie points. There's Tim in of the garden. Of course, Tim, he was really... He more had a green toe than a green thumb, thumb I think. <laughs> and the Logan boys, they attempted oh, to make yeah. bread, but oh, not very look, well. They're so hot right now, those and, boys, aren't they? And Michael <laughs> Grumpy working in the kitchen and, and obviously Kate having to be the housekeeper through a few tandies, making everyone's bed. Of course, the last part of the prize is the power to change nominations. Mm. And oh boy, what a double-edged sword this is. Double-edged sword for Glenn it was. There he was, getting along famously with Angela, when BAM! He took three points off Michelle's nominations on Monday and put Angela in the frame to go instead. So, not surprisingly, Geneva made it clear to Dean that she wants a slice of the victory pie. Mm. Got to win on Friday. Oh, yeah. Two, two I just hope it can, like, cause there's no way I'm going to beat, like, any of the boys for physical tasks like what we did last Friday. So it's got to be something <laughs> here, because at least I'm in with a chance. Because if I'm leaving, I'm going to go down fighting, I'll tell you what, after all that. After all this ridiculous crap, it's not just going to be like, yeah, OK, see ya. 
Got to win on Friday. I've got to win. Got to win oh, on Friday. Stop it, you can't. <laughs> I've got to win on Friday. Well, there they are now, 13 baffled housemates. A few minutes ago, Big Brother called them to the bedroom and told them to put on shorts and protective gear, but they have no idea what they're in for. So let's go down to the house. Hey, we want some. Oh. Everyone say, hey. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the garden immediately. That must be such an age song, that one. One of these. Oh, we're meant to run. Yeah. Oh, no, not the tube. A little bit of drink for a chat. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> housemates, stand on the white line facing the tables. Angela and Tim. You have been elected team captains by your fellow housemates. Angela, stand by the red table. Tim, stand by the blue table. Oh, you got a, you got a, where's my circle? Captains, you must now choose your teams one housemate at a time. Wait for Big Brother's instruction before you make each selection. Housemates, once selected, stand behind your captain. Angela, name your first player. Glenn. Glenn, you are now on Angela's team. Stand behind your captain. Tim, name your first player. Logan's. You can only pick one. Oh, Greg, I'll get Greg. I'll get Greg. <laughs> Logan, Greg, you have been chosen to take part in tonight's games. Therefore, Logan, David. <laughs> You will be a spectator. Stand to one side. Angela, name your next player. Dean. Dean, stand behind your captain. Tim, name your next player. Hot dogs. Hi. Hot dogs, stand behind your captain. Angela, name your next player. Michael. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Tim, name your next player. Kate. Yeah, that was coming. Competitive yeah. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> Angela. What do you reckon? Okay. What do you reckon? <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Tim. Gianna. Damn it. Yay. What do you guys want? Do you want? Geneva. <laughs> Angela, wait until you're instructed. Oh, sorry. You are down to your last two choices. Oh, Christy and Geneva. <laughs> Angela, name your last player. Geneva. Oh, Christy. Woo! Yeah. We'll kick your arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bit of team. Yeah. Angela. Spin the disc in front of you. Blue team, it is your choice to compete first or second. <laughs> second. Hey, Kate. Oh, All housemates, first. go to the silver doors. Enter the arena. You can do it. You can do it. Logan David, sit on the chair to the left of the door. All other housemates go to the orange area on the bowling alley and remain there. Housemates, there are three prizes for the winner of tonight's games. One, two nights in the rewards room with a housemate of your choice. Two, the power to allocate chores to other housemates. And three, the power to change nominations. There are three parts to the prize, but only one winner. OK, so there it is. Lots at stake tonight and plenty of hungry housemates speaking of steak. Stay tuned. We'll see.